Hello everyone, today we are going to start the first poem of our course book of class 5. So let's start. Now the name of the poem is Growing. Growing is called Increase to Became Tall. How tall are you? Are your parents taller than you? When do you think you will be as tall as them and even taller than them? Means right now you all are children. You all are not tall as your parents are tall. But one day when you grow up, then you can be taller than your parents. So this poem is about the growingness of the child. Today you may be small. Today is called this day. Today you are small. But one day you will be tall. But one day when the day come, when you grow up, you will be tall. Like me. Like me means who is speaking? The writer is speaking. The writer is speaking that one day you will be tall like me. Now who is the writer of the poem growing? Tony Mitten. Tony Mitten is the name of the writer who is speaking this poem. Who is the speaker of the poem? Tony Mitten, the writer. Okay. Maybe taller you won't fit in your bat, your hat. Means you can be tall like me or you can be maybe more tall uh, than I am. Okay. And then you will be so tall that you cannot fit in your bat. Means your bat will be, then your bat will become small and you will be tall. So when you lay down on your bat, then that bat will become small for you and you will be more taller than your bat bad your hat won't fit on your hat now when you want uh, to put on your hat then your hat will become also small why because your head will also uh, become big and your hat will become small so you will not be able to put on the hat on your head your feet will fill up the floor now when you walk on the floor then your feet will be so big that all the floor will be covered with your feet you will have to bend down to come through the door now you are so tall that the door of the room became so small for you so you cannot come inside the room so how you will come inside how do you come inside you have to bend down you have to bend your body down and even then after that you come inside the door you will be able to reach on the highest shelf now, if you are so tall, then uh, in the home, inside the home, inside the room, if there will be highest shelf. Now, shelf is something called that Elmira in which we keep our things. Okay. So, the highest shelf we are having in the room, you can reach there. Why? Because you will be the more and more taller person and I can't do that now myself. Now the writer was saying I am no not so tall as you are. So I cannot reach to the highest shelf of, of the room but you can reach. Out in the country the tallest trees will scratch your ankles. Now out of the country means when you go out of the country in the forest area, in the jungle area. Then there will be so many trees and so many trees are very much tall. But you will be taller than those trees. You can see in the picture all the tall trees are became um, just they are looking uh, so small. And the boy, the child was looking so taller than the trees. So they will scratch your ankle ankle is a lower part of your the back part of your feet okay so when you walk on the forest area outside of the country then all the big trees they will scratch they will make a scratch on your feet on your ankle and tickle your knees up in up in the cloud now tickle your knees means you can see the height of the trees can reach till the knees of that ch uh, child so when you walk then uh, trees will be come in the contact and um, of your knees and in your knees you will feel tickling tickling okay then up in the clouds now again it is saying up in the clouds means clouds are so high means clouds remain in the sky now the writers now the writer is talking about the clouds means you are so tall that you can reach to the cloud yes way up there means in the clouds in the sky there are so many clouds so up there 
means so up so high the eagles will nest in your craggy hair now craggy means very big means uh, means not cutted very grown overgrown hair very long long hair okay so the boy the child is having very long long hair and he is so tall that his head is reaching till the crowd and in the clouds who are there birds are there eagles are there so eagle will think oh this is not eagle how can a eagle mention that this is a head of any child they will think oh this is very good to make a nest let's make a nest here so all the week eagle will come and make your head nest you can see in the picture two eagles are sitting on the head of this boy but they would better soon find a safer place because soon your hat will be up in the space now all the eagle they are not going to take uh, this had a safer place means they are going uh, to think about no this is not a safe place because all where around their open open environment is there clouds will be there okay so soon means they will go out from that place we are going to make a nest at other place this is not a safe place so they will think about it and they will go because why because you became now more taller and more taller and this time you can reach to the height of cloud and when you became more tall then your head will go in space space is called the galaxy where we have a sun earth moon and that is very high you cannot see now uh, means from down you can at least see the clouds in the sky but in space can you see the planets no na so you you will become so tall that your head will reach till the space so how in the space eagle cannot live so eagle will make their nest at other places so i hope you won't be too proud to bend down and say hello to your old home town now the writer is saying tony mitton is saying when you become so tall and when you get so much success in your life then i think you are not going to be very much proud proudy person is a bad person then you are not going to be proud you will be a good person as you are right now and then you will come to your hometown and you bend down bend down means why you bend down when you come to your hometown you will be so tall means at that time also you will be so tall then when you come down to your hometown and your hometown will be so low at the land so you have to bend your body down to say hello to the people of the hometown and i hope it won't drive you utterly mad to visit your tiny mum and dad now writer is saying when you became so tall so tall even then you are not going to make uh, you irritated means nobody drive you utterly mad means means nobody annoy you nobody irritate you mean you will be so tall person and we all the people of the hometown including your parents your father and mother they will be tiny people tiny it's called is small people but you will not be irritated anyone and when you come to your hometown you will surely go and meet with your parents and you bend your body down to meet with your parents so this was the poem the complete poem growing okay go and listen the explanation again and then explain the poem yourself now i am telling you little more about the writer Tony Mitton born in 1951 is one of the best children's poet writing today means Tony Mitton who wrote this poem he was uh, writing all the children's book and uh, okay whatever the children's book and we are uh, reading today so many of the children books Tony Mitton wrote his first book plum from which the growing is taken was published in 1998 now this is the poem growing so tony mitton uh, wrote a complete book very big book is there that is called plum the name of that book is plum and from that book one of the poem has been taken out which we are reading here growing and that was published in 1998 
Since then, he has published 14 more poetry collection. Now, Plum is a book of poetry collection. So, like this poetry collection, he wrote so many other poetry collection and they are 14 in numbers. So, you can think in one poetry collection, so many poems can be there. He has won many awards and honors for his work and is a popular visiting poet in the school. Means uh, he has written so many poems and uh, the poems were so good. Everybody liked those poems and he won so many awards, so many prizes. And he was also a type of poet who used to visit different schools. Means he was a children writer. He wrote children poems, children stories. So he also liked to visit the schools. Now some new words from the poem, uh, listen to these words, learn them and write them in your notebook. Craggy hair means overgrown hair, very long hair. Drive you utterly mad means makes you irritated and tiny means small, okay. So these were the new words, the explanation I have given, write down the new words, try to explain the poem yourself. That's it for now, we'll meet again.